Mr. Richards is number 164. Mm. Okay, I just woke up. All right. Um, Britney Spears, <laughs> public trust, follow the money. I've heard a lot of speakers tonight, and I don't need to repeat it, starting with Commissioner Chop of talking about how we've been dumbed down the last 30, 40 years on civic intelligence, but how our media has, because of follow the money, it's much cheaper to do the Britney Spears story. Did Britney Spears have panties on last night, or did she not? I watched Fox News this morning. She did not wear panties last night. <laughs> it's ironic that this meeting's being held this weekend. Sunday is Veterans Day. Now, in the fall of 2002 and into early 2003, our corporate media somehow convinced 77% of us that Saddam Hussein was behind 9-11. Here we are five years into this little Iraqi adventure. 4,000 Americans are dead and Sunday is Veterans Day. That is what corporate media is about. And here we are. Uh, it ain't good, folks. Ain't good at all. And I just have one question for Mr. Martin. I see my time's Thank up, you. but somebody, uh, one question. Thank you very much. I would like to know what job you're going to get after this, because I'm sure it's a very nice Thank job. Thank you very much. We have many more people to go. Michael Waters. Martin Klansman. Folks around here just call me Kiwi Bob. Um, I've been doing a little bit of thinking about tonight, and I've decided that uh, this is a fraud that's being perpetrated on the American public, and that, Mr. Martin, you're behind this fraud. Five days notice of a public hearing. Um, I'm going to ask you to do the right thing. You're the engineer of this train wreck in the making. You have the ability to apply the brakes. You have the ability to do the right thing, which is apply the brakes. You also have the ability to do the right thing and resign as head of the Federal Communications Commission. Take your choice. I want to focus the rest of my testimony tonight on the fact that for nearly 32 years now, I've been listener, an avid listener of KBCS, FM, Bellevue, Seattle, Community Radio, 91.3 FM, also on the internet at kbcs.fm. That is diversity in media. But you've heard all of this tonight. You've heard the testimony of the majority of the will of the American people. The question is, will you abide by that? So I would like to uninterrupted put forth yet another point of view. I've thought seriously about Thank you. <laughs> Sam Parker. <laughs> Stephanie, uh, Sam? Yeah, that's me. Hi. Uh, before I begin, Commissioner, my name is Sam Parker. Uh, I'm 21 years old, and I, Mr. Martin, am ashamed enough for the both of us because anyone who schedules this hearing five days in advance and then dismisses the voices of the people that he has sworn to serve and protect obviously has no shame to spare. <laughs> Sirs, commissioners, I, I walk down the street and I see that I have no place 
and no voice in the media that we have today. Uh, this is true for any minority opinion and group living in the U.S. In the television screens and radio broadcasts of our nation, we see and hear not ourselves, but caricatures of ourselves, the people that corporate media and the other conglomerates want us to be. I have no interest in being that person, sirs. We have no interest in being these people. And yet here we are having a hearing, not a debate, because it's pretty apparent where public opinion falls on this subject, but a hearing on whether to give these corporations more influence over what we see and hear. And worse, these regulations will come at the cost of community media and low power FM stations who allow myself and my peers here direct access to the media in order to shape our communities for the better. Commissioners, if you strike down the cross ownership media ban, you will only prove what myself and the American public have been suspecting for a while. That the FCC is no longer the arbiter of justice for the broadcast media, but rather the auctioneer who has sold our voices to the highest bidder. And I swear to you that this is not empty rhetoric, commissioners. This is what I and many others believe. And I beg and plead the commissioners of the FCC to prove me wrong. Good evening, gentlemen. Um, I'm 65, just as a citizen. Um, but as I was watching the proceedings tonight, I was thinking that this should probably have been a three-day hearing. And speakers, you want to hear from us that maybe we should have had five minutes to speak and give substance. And I wonder, as you go back to your hotels this evening, if you're going to turn on the news or tomorrow morning and how much of this hearing is going to be reported. Where will be the substance? Where will be the truth? Will it be a one-liner, a two-minute blip? It seems to me that America is in a identity crisis right now between being a true democracy and being a corporate dominion. And it's not that we don't need big business, but there's something way out of balance between the micro and the macro. And this country was founded on a rich assortment of ideas and creativity. And when we have this sterile, homogenous media on every night, every day, it diminishes us and it undermines our very culture and the media is the power of that. It's the distribution of information. Thank you. Keep in mind separation of church, Thank state, and corporation. Kevin Thompson. Kevin Thompson. Gregory Lewis.